welcome back to the channel. I am working on this, uh, what is the 2012, uh, 2013 Grand Caravan. Uh, as you can see, it's a 3.6, but what's going on is, uh, it won't, it won't spin over. It won't crank. It just clicks. Uh, they thinking the engine is seized up. Okay, a lot of people say locked up, but, uh, seized up. Now, from what I've heard, uh, the customer went under some water puddle of water and there may be uh, water may have gotten into the intake system and made its way down to the uh, combustion area, the cylinder and as y'all know you cannot compress water. That's right. You can't comp Whoa. <laughs> wow. It rained in Atlanta y'all. Like I said, man, I thought uh, I thought they totaled the minivan, but oh. Right, ladies and gentlemen i have it in the shop uh man like i say man only thing i could think of uh the insurance company got the engine very 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 inexpensive okay because they did a 180 on me like i say i was under the impression that they totaled it out well the day i come in this morning there's an engine sitting on my stall i have to put this in so uh i don't know i got 15 hours to do it that's what i wrote the estimate up so that's what we gonna do it for it shouldn't take me that long Wow. Welcome y'all, first of all. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this, guys. This engine is still here. Y'all remember the engine that I replaced in the caravan? Uh, the one that seized up. I put a link right here. Uh, actually, that's a five-part video series that I did. It was seized up. And I ended up replacing them. A uh, hydro lock. Uh, just locked up. Okay, well, the engine is still here. They told me they was coming to get it as a core. But uh, it's still here. When did I do that? I did that job like a month ago. All right. So, look, it's been set here so long, people don't start stealing parts off of it. Okay. Somebody obviously needs the phasers off of it, so they likely took some phasers off their engine and set right here and used the phasers that was on this engine. And I had no problem with that. It's ain't my car. It's ain't my engine. But I wanted to show you guys the timing setup. In fact, I still can do that. So. I'm going to eventually end up pulling the cover off, but the main thing I wanted to find out, guys, was why did it seize up? Now, we know why it seized up, okay? We know you can't compress water. So, some way, somehow, a water got into the intake and down into the cylinders, okay? You, in fact, you can see the rust on the piston. Okay, now, all the water has evaporated, but... I wanted to know, you remember I turned the crank and it stopped a quarter of a ways, uh, insinuating like a rod may be bent and it's catching up on something. Well, anyway, in the process of removing it, I remember now, guys, it had, uh, 
I had a hard time. You know, when you're removing an engine out of a car, you got to separate it from the transmission. In order to do that, you have to turn the flywheel in order to remove the flywheel bolts. There's four on a particular car, any particular car, which means you have to rotate it. So if the engine was locking up, how was you able to remove the flywheel bolts? Well, I fought and fought and fought and got the engine to rotate in order to remove the torque converter bolts. Okay, which means I partially unseized it. But, hear me now, but there's something going on in the bottom end. And I want to know what it is. So what I'm going to end up doing is flipping this bad boy over and uh, taking that oil pan, oil pan off and taking a look at those rods. Okay, guys, I had canceled that off. Remember, that was the original plan, but I got away from that because I was told they're coming to get the engine as a core. Well, a month later, it's still here. So we're going to, I'm going to take y'all along for the ride with me, my subscribers. Love y'all, brand. Oh, uh, we're going to, I'm going to get this off. Uh, I'm going to take the oil pan off, okay? And I can do the timing. Uh, that engine over there, I can do my timing demonstration on that as far as, uh, removing the phasers and showing you how to set the timing up man you gotta you're gonna also have to keep in mind all this stuff is done off the car which means it's less difficult to do on the car is fairly difficult uh wow somebody had this cover off already that is rtv in between there okay guys so we're gonna remove this oil pan find out why this engine sees up all right right now i'm gonna go to a quick ad break go gather up some tools and we're gonna get started so don't go anywhere stay right here i We'll be right back. All right, guys, y'all see that? So something did come apart, but I want to go a step farther. I want to know exactly what came apart. Okay, this does not satisfy me. I want to know what rod, what came apart. So we're going to have to take the other half of the oil pan off. That's the only way we're going to find out, guys. Wow, this is what water can do. You cannot compress water. Look at this. This looks like pieces of a, pieces of a, God, I don't know what that is. But I'm going to find out. I want to find out. Hi right, guys. Let me go to a quick ad break. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Alright guys, I got the rod out. As you can see, it is bent. So whoever, whichever one of you guys guessed uh, the rod was bent, that's exactly what it was. Uh, I think when it was bent, uh, as you rotate it, it would get lodged into the piston and just would not, that's what was making the engine seize. So the engine will, will rotate now. It basically would turn over. But uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the engine is internal damage i don't know if uh anybody ever uh, anybody ever reconditioned an engine after one has seized up but i'm sure that's not the only so i wouldn't in other words i wouldn't take a chance okay so this engine is pretty much toast but you can see the piston uh lodged in there you can see the bent rod this was what was stopping it from rotating okay the bearings don't look that bad um so that's about it guys uh, for those of you that was interested as to why it was seized up. So, 
we pretty much know what caused it to seize up and now we can pretty much see <laughs> why it seize up the power of water y'all you cannot compress water that's some strong liquid could you imagine this piston going up could you imagine the cylinders being full of water and the piston going up trying to compress that like it do uh air fuel mixture oh this is what will happen guys so that's all i have man thanks for watching